Hi, my name is Dr. Miguel Angel Guevara, a board certified plastic surgeon and penoplasty expert. So today's topic is penoplasty and the four to five stages that need to be made. And it's not just about giving it a longer length and giving it more girth. It's also about having symmetry and attacking all the features involved in the genital area. For example, the mom's pubis and the inner thighs. Two things that are always forgotten and that are not taken into consideration when we think about penoplasty. So let's begin with a very fast explanation of how it's done. Here in our model, we're gonna see that we have an inverted V incision in the mom's pubis. We're always gonna be respecting our testicle, our veins, arteries, and our deferens. This way we can guarantee that there's not gonna be any impact on the testicles and on giving birth or giving children. So once we do the incision, we're gonna encounter subcutaneous fat and two structures that are very vital and need to be excised in different manners. Our first material that we're gonna find below the subcutaneous fat is an infundibular ligament, which is vestigial as well as a suspensory ligament. As soon as we do the section of this area, we are gonna be able to slide forward at least four to six centimeters of internal penis. This is not gonna affect our angle this is not gonna affect our firmness. This is not gonna affect our fertility or our urinary tract. This is respecting everything else that is around our penis and our reproductive organs. So once we do this, we have to do a rearrangement of the tissues to guarantee that when we do the section, we're gonna extract the penis. We're not gonna put a suture directly on the penis, but we will put us some sort of a speed bump. In some, in some way, we're not gonna be able to do a backwards movement of the penis, and this is gonna guarantee that our length enhancement will be definitive and it will be permanent. So remember when we have an erectile state, we have two missiles. In this, in this area, we have two cavernous tissues, which are filled up with blood and which have OM areas that are closed up in a way that we can maintain the erection. So whatever you gain in a flaccid state will be gained in an erectile state, but to a lower percentage, a minimum percentage of 50%. This means that if you gain eight centimeters in a flaccid state, four centimeters are guaranteed in the erectile state. On top of what you have in an erection, you will add those four centimeters to give you the total amount of centimeters in erectile state. But we do have patients that do a one-to-one -one proportion and gain five centimeters in flaccid, five centimeters in erectile state. With girth enhancement, it's a lot different. We have two possibilities, which is the second part of this four stage process. The girth enhancement can be done through fat injection, or it can be done with a cellular matrix. In this case, what I recommend is lipotransfer from some areas of the body, for example, or abdomen or the flanks, because we can program this fat or we can actually guarantee that 90 to 97% of this fat will integrate into the penile area. Aside from that, we have a cellular dermal matrix, which is very nice, but it has a 22% complication rate because we have to peel back and cut some sort of the vascularization. So we have those types of complications and then we have to take the mesh out and we have to put fat. So in my case, I think it's more recommendable that we do fat transfer from lower abdomen or flanks with the six stage process to guarantee that this fat is not gonna be absorbed and it's not gonna have nodules and it's not gonna have any sort of deformities or asymmetries on your area. The patient has a two to three hour recovery. The patient will be able to walk, eat, go to the restroom and go back to the hotel and obviously if not their home. The patient will be uh, attended at a moment by a nurse or by, by my assistants or myself in case necessary. And let me tell you that we've had over 9,500 patients operate on. We have never had a surgical emergency on penoplasty. Remember that your recovery is without sutures, without a drain. It's a two to three day absolute rest recovery where we see you for a checkup back at the office, making sure things went absolutely fine. The pain is not gonna be an issue and you're gonna be able to walk around and have a normal life for the next 27 to 28 days. After completing 30 days after, after surgery, post-op surgery, the patient's gonna be able to have sexual intercourse, carry heavy objects, exercise, and masturbate. 
but it's important to take care of the healing process and the scab in the wound through different procedures that we will recommend. So the next time you think about penoplasty, please look me up in our web pages and read the detailed information that we have for you in order to make that big decision or send us your uh, information page so that my account manager can get you closer to your dreams. Very fast surgeries, two hours, four days that you should invest into your future. Thank you for looking up Dr. Mila. Thank you.